Hello everyone, it's another part of Legend of K Anniversary, and this time, we're going for Doom Portals, because I found it. It's actually the very start of the level, so let's go ahead and activate our little potion here. And begin going through hell again. Now, I used the walkthrough again to find this, because of course I did. And, uh, I'm actually getting very close to being done with these Doom Portals, so I only have like, two left in this amount of time. So, that's good. I'm actually nearly done with the impulse. I don't have to worry about them anymore soon. But right now, there is a diamond here. I wanted the blue diamond, but... I thought I hit it, and I didn't, and I couldn't get out of that, and yeah. It sucks, really. But yeah, what we're being important about is getting through this little spot here. By the way, I wanted to get the yellow diamonds, because I hit the di yellow, and uh, I wanted the yellow diamonds there. And I actually hit a blue one, because I can barely see anything here. Like, I could barely see the blue diamonds, and I could barely see, like, anything outside of these guys and myself, and the ground. So it's annoying, really. What isn't annoying, though, is taking down these guys, we already know how to deal with them. We just have to make sure we go around them and just one, two, and we're done. These guys are the most annoying, but again, one, two, we're done. And that's all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some blue diamonds now. Just gonna make sure I, uh, you know, get my level up, get my multiplier up. And then I'm gonna break these vases and see what's inside these things, because I want that nice little bit of points. And all the money's gone. Now, I'm pretty sure that's everything in this area. I tried to go in for these vases, but, uh, all the vases? have absolutely nothing in them. Not a single thing. Except for one heart, but I was already low on health, so that didn't even count as any points. So, fuck you, game. Fuck you. This place is, like, not very rewarding. Except at the end, where we get this shit. Which, even then, it's like, we get a bomb, we get a vase full of hornets, and we get a Berserk potion. Get rid of the bomb. Get rid of the hornets. But keep that. And in here is hearts and money. Money is fine. Hearts, not so much. There's nothing else around here. Let's continue on. But yeah, that was the least rewarding place in the entire game. And I'm kind of pissed off about that. But that's it for that little area. That's it for the damn portal. Now, let's go all the way back and, uh, continue on with the quest, because we've unlocked that door that was locked by the, uh, the cat statues. And now I can go and see what's beyond here. Which is this. You ignorant little furball. While you're wasting your time here, Shun is across the sea on Wallo building the ultimate weapon. Ha! Not as smart as you thought you were, eh? You see one, but I am many. Many delusional fools ripe for the slave trade. Alright, a mini boss. So, yeah, this is not that bad. I mean, inside those vests, by the way, is a bunch of flies. Yeah, they're coming out for play now. Uh, as you all know, when we hit a fly, sometimes it'll lock on to an enemy on its death and attack them. Which is useful, but, um, these guys, when they're in a pack, kind of are a pain, because they hit me no matter what. So, yeah, this is, uh, an interesting fight. I mean, this shouldn't be that hard, but it is. There's a lot of gorillas. And there's a lot of these guys. And I want to get rid of these guys because they're going to be the biggest annoyance at, of all, out of all of the shit. Because these flies, like look at this shit. They keep coming. And I accidentally break vases. They accidentally break vases too. But I'm pretty sure they do it on purpose as well. It's just there to annoy me and get in the way. And I have to kill them anyway to move on. So I'm pretty sure it's all of them too. So now it's just the gorilla. So now they're all broken, it's now time to fight this guy, who is our little mini-boss, and, uh... Yeah, he's not that bad, actually. He's, uh... 
He's actually pretty simple, really, because I just defeated him right about now, actually. So, you got lucky, punk. But Minister Shun will deal with you in good time, and you'll get a taste of justice, gorilla style. He was just fine then, but he didn't want to attack me anymore. He just pussied out, so yeah. Right, I'm gonna go and buy some shit because, well, first off, I need to get this diamond. I get some points. Now, I'm gonna go and get some stuff before I continue on. So I'm gonna go back and buy some arms I need. For instance, Berserk Potions. I need at least two of them. Health Potions, I got like one left, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be fine. I also bought some armor, because I need that, just in case. And I'm pretty sure gonna be a big just in case. Uh, right now, I should make Shunt get screwed by the rats. They're not that bad, actually. Rats. And, uh, then I can go through and continue on. And believe it or not, this is actually the end of the level. Right beyond here. Because that is definitely an end of level door icon. Just came. There's nothing there. It's not even a door icon there. Are you sure it's even a door? But yeah, we have to go through there. And there's nothing else on the map. So that's definitely going to be an exit. Anyway. In these vases, there is nothing, then there's hearts, then there's money, and that's it. Let's continue on. Because we're done. On we go. And... We've unlocked nothing. Great. So... Not doing so well on points, but I think we can do a bit better. But yeah, this was not a very good level in terms of that demon portal. And of course, a lot of the shit we went through. Uh, let's see what's next. Hey, Avalanche told me of your arrival. Because of the unsecure part of the palace ruins, we tamed a wolf. Use the wolf to reach the ancient dungeons. I get to ride a wolf? Cool! You think so, eh? Better be aware of the spiders. They'll try to poison you. Okay, so... We're riding wolves. And they're spiders. So yeah, the spiders do appear, but they appear later on. I don't know why. Right now, though... I'm gonna say it right now, by the way. This is actually not that bad. Uh, the main thing the spiders do is they make it really difficult to steer. And they make the wolf kind of move on his own at times. But that's about it. This place isn't that bad. But there are some parts where it's going to fuck you over. Like around here. Uh, but for the most part, this isn't that hard. I was able to make it through this relatively well. At a pretty easy pace. But yeah, once you get hit by a spire, this shit happens, where it's really hard to actually turn, especially drift-wise, and yeah. Not very fun. But otherwise, I made it through. I made it in about 50 seconds, so I think I did pretty well. I threw on a coin. And we have unlocked the door. So, let's uh, continue on and see what we got now. As you can see, our experiment was successful. Your experiment? You were the first one to ever ride the wolf. <laughs> it actually worked. Hey, what do I look like, a lab rat? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, now you can head on over to the ancient chamber, or if you want to ride again, press the button. Good luck. Yeah, fuck you. Experiment. I can't believe it. They lied to me. Oh no. I didn't see that coming. It's a, no, I can't really trust these guys. These pandas are dicks. What the fuck does Su Ling see in them? Also, why didn't they break that after breaking all that shit? I, ah, fuck it. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go back real quick just to see how far I can go without getting gated out and uh, see if there's anything else I missed. You know, just in case there's any items or bases. And there's nothing. And there's the gate. Alright, so let's go back because when we go back, we're exiting because as you can see there's an exit thing there. And of course, I'm going to unlock this race because that's going to be in the extras, which will be in a few parts. And, uh, is there anything down here? Or are these traps that kill me? Nope, it's just the pit and there's nothing here. Okay. There's another one over here. Is there anything over here? No? No. Alright. We're done here. Let's move on. That's it for the race. There's a button to restart this, but why the fuck would we? And it's gonna be the race. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so we're inside the palace. Let's, uh... Let's go through and see what we got now. Let's see what we have to deal with. Let's see what I have to do in the palace. In this little temple area. Okay, so we're in the burial chamber. It looks like I can go back too. Can I? Can I go back? No, of course not. I'd better find the nautical chart first before heading back to Su Ling. Ah, uh, that's why I can't go back till I get the chart. Fine. Say, so, uh, what does that panda have to say to me? Oh, hey, Kay. The intel service of the avalanche said you'd be coming by. You see that big gate behind me? That's the way to the burial chamber of the last cat emperor, where we expect to find the nautical chart we're seeking. The complete archaeological task force has already spread out all around the dungeon, but there is some resistance, eight legs and some bats, and of course, some of Shun's henchmen. Thanks for the information, Zhu, but you pandas are such motor mouths. Oh, sure. Insult all pandas. This from a cat with a second grade education. But I have more information for you. Sorry. Didn't mean to offend. What have you got? Have you seen those locked doors around the corner? Have you seen what's behind them? A hammer. I think I have one key that fits one of them. I'll give it to you if you bring me back something special. Because I never get to bring back anything good from my adventures. Consider it done. Alright. So, more quests. We've got keys and jades. Jade lion speaks, act. Which are like that. And I have to bring them to the pan and get keys for the hammer upgrade. Which, we're gonna need. We're definitely gonna need it. These are optional quests, by the way, but to me, they're going to be very important. Right, some diamonds here. And that's it. Okay, just for points, I guess. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go this way and see what I can find. Let's see, there's some dragons here. And there's a panda. And there's some vases. With some money. That's nice. It's always nice to get money. Especially when you got a multiplier going. Uh, Panda? What do you guys say? Hi, Kay. By my ancestors, this is some strange place. What is its purpose? All these spikes and mysterious reliefs. But I'll figure it out. Definitely. I'm sure you will. Hey, don't even think about climbing this crazy tower. You don't want to step on those spikes. No way. I'm sticking right here. Maybe I'll find the door this key fits. Have you seen a door with a big lock? Uh, no. I don't think so. Hello, the fucking hammer! Uh, whatever. Kay's not being very smart, I can tell. At least we can just go around breaking bases and grabbing shit. I still have my multiplier at least, that's good news. Oh! Hello! Took you long enough! So yeah, the spiders, they were in the demo. 
Finally, we got the last piece of demo play. It's that fucking spider. The spiders do two things. One, they jump around and attack you like that. And two, when you get hit, it reverses your controls. So, where with the wolf, it made the controls hard to turn and shit. With this, I'm now going reverse movement. So, in order to go left, I have to go right and all that shit. And the timing of when it turns off is a bit weird too. However, I'm so used to playing games where you have to do reverse controls. It's just... I'm just used to that sort of shit now. It doesn't really bother me. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, this isn't that bad. But now it's time for spikes. Now, I didn't understand how these spikes worked. Uh, the way they just jut out at times is a bit awkward to me. It's like a warning jut, in a way. And then they just jut out. Now, when I see the warning jut, I'm thinking, oh shit, it's gonna hit me. So, that's the wrong thing, because they're not fully out yet. But because that little warning jut, it makes me think, oh, it's gonna jut right the fuck up at me, and it's gonna kill me instantly. You saw it right there. Yeah, it's annoying, and I'm confused by it. And by the way, it's a life there, but... I'm not grabbing that. Like, fuck you. Why would I need to grab that? It's a waste of time, really. I mean, I've already got 20 free lives. Why the fuck would I- Oh, hey, spider. Why the fuck would I need to get a 24th life? At this point, I don't think I need to touch any more lives unless I accidentally get one. Like, the lives are just useless at this point. They're just there to be, like, continue to me in case I die without any red potions available. Without any health potions. So, yeah, there's really nothing else to the lives. Oh, great, we're in the pits. And we have to do a fight. There's some rats down here, and there's a lot of spiders. We gotta kill all of them. Uh, the rats, they're easy. I don't know if these pits will actually kill me, or if they're just like the pits back in the fucking race, where it's just like the floor under there and it leads nowhere. I don't know. What I do know is, I'm gonna try and get through this without falling in the pits. Because I don't think they're safe. I'm pretty sure the pits will kill me. And by the way, breaking out of a combo will give me hearts. In one way, the hearts help me get points. In the other way, the hearts were there to give me health, and I just wasted all of them. So, yeah. This is... I guess you can say it's interesting, but in other ways, it's not this whole fight. I mean, there's pits around, and if you get hit, you get reverse, and there's a whole lot of these guys. And by the way, I got the wrong color. Fuck it, I need... I need that multiplier to be increased, like, much higher. Could have gone at 25, actually, but... Nah. Okay, so... This fight is not that bad. They do somehow block by jumping. I have no idea how they achieve that. But, yeah, they can be very annoying. And once you're reversed... If, you if you're not used to reverse controls, you'll get fucked over. Otherwise, that's it for the fight, and that's really it for that whole thing. It's not that bad, actually. I want to look around, break some shit, grab some money, and uh, then we'll move on. I'm probably going to have to get a new mic. Uh, this one is starting to get kind of fucked over. It's kind of... I need to bend the wire a bit to make it work, or else it just turns off, so... Yeah. Uh, but right now, I don't have to worry about that. I have to worry about this game in which... I have lost my multiplier. Shit. But then again, there's nothing along here until I get over here, so... Even then, I, it's just hearts. There's a whole web over here, I'm gonna cut it, and... Webworks, nice name. There's some more enemies down here. Mainly spiders. Mainly spiders. Uh, outside of that is a cat statue here, which, believe it or not, we actually need to get the cat statues. Because, of course, we need to. And that's a new quest! Find four cat statues, activate the thing so you can go through and move on, yada yada, Ah. 
Uh, I hate getting cat statues. At this point, it's it's becoming a tedious search for cat statues. I've really got nothing else to say except for the fact this panda wants to try and fight the spiders, but he can't because he's a pussy and doesn't know how to fight. And I don't know how to use a fucking hammer. I doubt they can actually fight. So, yeah. Let's kill the spiders. Then we're done and the panda will give us a thing. Phew! They almost got me! Thanks, good buddy. Here. Take this statuette as a token of appreciation for saving my life. Yeah, these spiders are butt ugly, but I can't accept this reward. No, no, you take it. Thanks again. Why the fuck would you reject this? You need this, and you're okay. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just sit right now. You're being stupid. Stop it. Okay. So, outside of some bases, we're done here. I'm going to jump cut back over so you don't have to watch me go all the way back. Because why the fuck would you want to watch me do that? And, uh, I've got a jade statue now. But there's some stuff around here as well. For instance, there's an open over here, which I'm not going to just yet. And then there's this thing over here, which is the do this, the locked gates. With the hammer upgrade, which has balls on it for some reason. I don't know why the hammer needs balls. Anyway, back over here. Hey, Zhang, take a look at what I found. Say, what a nice item. I give you this key I have if you trade me for this statuette. Deal. Done, done, and done. So, one key down, two more to go. And two more statues to find. If only I could find them right now. Right now, though, we're going to continue on over to here. Because this is an area we haven't gone to yet. And why the fuck would I not want to go down here? So, over to here. There is this. The Abyss of the Blades. There's a new obstacle in the Abyss of the Blades. This shit. This is legit some fucking Prince of Persia stuff right now. All you have to do is duck under these, and it's not too bad. By the way, there's a little area here where you can break some faces if you make some good jumps, and uh, I'm not that bad at jumping, so there you go. Some money and some hearts. Outside of that, there's nothing around here, so let's go back up. So yeah, the blades are going to be annoying. They're going to try and fuck me over. These spikes are going to be annoying. They're going to try and fuck me over. This thing will move and fall down. Be careful of that. Overall, just take your time. Because we can't get a multiplier here right now, so we might as well just take our time. Uh, outside of that, I don't know if there's anything else we can go for right now. Anything else we can use. So, really, we're just going to continue on and move. Pretty sure I'm not missing anything right now. So, it's this thing here, but then I died, so I'm gonna jump cut back up here. Behind me is some blue diamonds, I might as well grab them right now. And we're supposed to go over there, but the red diamonds tempt me. So I'm gonna take the red diamonds. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with going this way for red diamonds. So, over here, these red diamonds, if you come up here you can grab them, is an armor. Except the armor is green. That's five armor points. I have about seven. So, yeah, I can't grab that. I can't add to my armor, nor can I replace this right now. So, fuck it. You can't send the armor, we'll come back here later. By the way, here's a cat statue we can hit. It moves around when you hit it. But outside of that, I don't see the point of the thing, but there you go. And now I have to get through this shit. There's gas here. You gotta be careful. You can die easily from it. Be careful of the fire here. It will burn you. And once you get through, the gas is gone. Now you can move on. There's some money, some hearts, some stuff. And I bet there's been some spires around here. But the main important thing is that we're about to enter an ambush. Trapped! The fire of the 
the graves! You have no idea! No idea whatsoever! Listen up, Ratty. I'm the Pied Piper of Hamlin. I'm the Enchanter of all rodents. A virtual repudiator of rats. What? Why he talk so much? Hey, you! Why you are talking so much trash? You're right, you know. I spend too much time with those blabby pandas. You can't shut them up. Yeah, we know good. Always we bully them, they start yakking. Never stop! Well, that's just swell, boys, because I too want a little less conversation and a little more action! I am the warrior. I am the hero. I'm the trash man. <laughs> but yeah. What the fuck was that line right there? Like, he wasn't being intimidating, he was just talking a lot of shit, really. But yeah, more rats. It's supposed to be the bomb rats, too, but they don't throw bombs at me, so that's one plus. By the way, there's trap doors here. I don't think the trap doors actually hit you or anything. Like, I don't think they actually open, but, uh, yeah, trap doors. They might be annoying. Just letting you know. Just letting you know. And that's it. What well, you you thought there was gonna be something else? You thought there was gonna be something special about this whole entire area? That was gonna be something crazy and spectacular? Some big fight? Something up? No, just rats. Keep even rats. Fuck. At least I got some money out of it. And even though I could splice in a few more minutes I am gonna stop at the next checkpoint the reason because there's an area where save states get fucked and I'm better off do oh for fuck's sake I'm better off doing the next part uh, knowing that I can just get through that part in the next part and not have to worry about my save state being all fucked up and me having to do all this shit again so, you know, just a precaution, just a precaution. Otherwise, it's like... This isn't going to be that bad, really. So, yeah. Uh, is there anything over here I can get a multiplier out of without having to grab all this red? No? Okay, then. Uh, so, we're going back to that checkpoint. And next time on Legend of K Anniversary... We're gonna continue on and uh, maybe we'll get into that one area where the save sets get fucked up if I save there and uh, get through that and not have to worry about our saves getting fucked up because I believe that's the last time we'll go through an area where the saves get fucked so good. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.